Hello, and welcome to TFC Reviews. It has been a while since I have posted a video, but that does not mean I have not been working on anything. So, we're gonna come back strong in a few days and weeks with some more videos. So now, on to the game. Both teams needed to make numerous changes to their starting lineup because of Copa America, Euros, and injuries. Star players were missing like Steven Gerrard, Michael Bradley, Damian Perkis, Giovanni Dos Santos, and Will Johnson was on the bench for Toronto FC. Also coming into this game, both teams were on four game losing streaks, and TFC has not scored in over 200 minutes, which was crazy. Picking the game up in the 27th minute, the first real highlight of the game. It came to legit Legit, I don't know how to say his name, as he flicks the ball, turns one Toronto defender, and strikes it into the corner of the net. But Irwin makes a save to turn it aside for a corner. 41st minute, Giovinco tries to generate something off a corner by shooting it himself, and it barely gets cleared off the line by Ashley Cole. And then the first half ended which was a pretty boring first half. I won't sugarcoat it. Second half start. 50th minute. Ball gets cleared out, but only to Benoit Cheru. He belts a strike that could only be tipped over the bar by the LA keeper. 53rd minute. Toronto with yet another corner. Almost comes away with the goal after Giovinco crosses it into Drew Moore, who puts his header wide. 60th minute. Delgado plays an over-the-top through ball to Giovinco with a brilliant touch. He has the shot, which was stopped by Rowe, the LA Galaxy keeper. Two minutes later, Jordan Hamilton was brought down 25 yards out, which is perfect positioning for Sebastian Giovinco, who puts it on net, and it's saved by Rowe again. This minute I... Toronto FC makes their first sub, and Mo Bubuli comes on for Jordan Hamilton, and Endo comes off for Will Johnson. Greg Bandy is actually really smart with his decisions. You will see later. 76 minute. Toronto fans finally, finally got something to cheer about with a long ball from Ben Washeru to Eric Zavaleta, who has it on to Drew Moore, who has it into the net to break the goalless drought for Toronto FC. And after that, Toronto FC takes the lead, one nothing. Toronto FC would park the bus, shut up shop, bring on Hegeland, and we would win it, one nothing. And that finally brings the end to our losing skid. And it was an amazing way to do so. Well, pretty underwhelming, but we finally won a game. And this was a sellout crowd in BMO Place. No, BMO Stadium, my bad. With 30,025 in attendance to witness this great game. So this will be the end. Hope to see you in another videos. Have a great day.